to make yourself a survival raft out of a DD 3x3 tarp. So the first thing you want to do is clear an area and then you're going to spread out your 3x3 tarp and once you've done that then on top of that you're going to start building the raft itself. Alright, so once you have gathered a fair amount of small bendy branches, uh, you're going to then stack them in and weave them together in like a little donut shape about three foot across and ultimately you're aiming to have almost a foot in thickness. Uh, once you've done this, try and weave the branches together. The, the idea with the branches is that you want to create volume and space and that helps you displace the water uh, when you're actually in the raft. So. Uh, what we're going to do now that we've grabbed these branches, we're going to get some cordage, we're going to vaguely tie it together so it's a bit more structurally sound, and then we're going to make off our first base to go over that. Now, once we've done the base, we're then going to make a bigger donut like this to then sit on top. All right, so let's crack on. Okay, so what we've done now, we've got a few slightly thicker branches and we've lashed them to our little donut of smaller branches now and that's created a frame because you don't want to be standing actually or sitting on the tarp when you're in the water. You actually want to have your feet or your backside on this wood and that keeps you off the tarp so you don't have to worry about going straight through the tarp and into the drink. So the next stage now is we're going to get another one of these donuts made slightly bigger to sit on top of this and then we're going to fold the tarp over and tie it all together and then give it a try. So we'll, we'll see you yeah. shortly. Right guys, as you can see we've got our second donut of smaller branches together, we've tied it all on and in fact we actually flipped it over just because the second donut we had was a little bit softer, there wasn't as many little pointy bits uh, so we're less likely to actually damage the tarp. Now that we've got the body of our raft constructed we're then going to pull in all of the sides and we're going to lash them together with paracord and lash it to the frame as well. Uh, so what we're going to do, we'll start that and then we'll show you the actual method that we're doing. It's a little bit kind of improvised, go where you need to go with your cordage just to get everything to sit nice and snug, but we'll, we'll try and show you as we go. So what I've just done now with this longer bit of cordage is I've gone through all 16 of the outer attachment points of the tarp itself and pulled it in kind of like a drawstring uh, of a, a hood on a hoodie really and from there then we've kind of lashed it to the frame itself um, just trying to get it to sit vaguely tight just so it's not going to be too loose and it's going to fall off the, the raft itself when we're in the water. So that is the raft pretty much done. Next thing is I just quickly need to fashion myself some kind of oaring object. Alright then, so the oar took all of 30 seconds to make because all I did was I got a stick with a Y shape in it and put the tarp bag over the stick itself and that should be an improvised oar. It's nice and light, I won't let the water come too far up here and I've just used the uh, cinch cord there to lash it to the uh, stick itself. Let's give it a try. Uh -huh. 